This is the grand opening of the new Transbay Terminal in San Francisco. But this wasn't the first terminal on this location. Years before, there was the old Transbay Terminal. The Transbay Terminal was opened in 1939. It was served by three train lines, the Sacramento Northern, the Key System, and the Interurban Electric Railway. These Sacramento Northern trains passed over the Oakland-San Francisco Bay Bridge These large trains passed through Oakland mostly on city streets, but then they had to climb through the Oakland Hills. Climbing up through Rock Ridge and into the Montclair section of Oakland, the trains proceeded into Shepherd's Canyon. Shown here are interurban trains passing by a station called Havens in Shepherd's Canyon. Here's what this area looks like today. You can see a sign for the Montclair Railroad Trail showing where the right of way was. As the trains proceeded up the hill in Shepherd's Canyon, they could no longer keep up with the grade and had to enter a long tunnel. This is the area where the tunnel entrance was today. As you can see, the entrance has been completely filled in and a house built over the same area. This 3,700 foot long tunnel emerged on the other side in an area called Eastport. Today, I'm exploring that same area where the tunnel came out in Eastport to see if there's any artifacts left from the train. This iron post here looks interesting. I don't know whether it has anything to do with the old train. We're looking for some evidence. Um, I think this area has been picked clean over the years. But let's see if we can find something. Okay. I think this is the exit of the tunnel right here. It's been filled in many years ago and there isn't much evidence. And I think the right-of-way came out this way and went down that way. There, that's the uh, Pinehurst Road looping around, which is a sharp hairpin turn down to this level. And in that photograph, we can see that, that um, uh, railing so I think the exit of the tunnel was right about there. This rock wall here is, I think, evidenced in some of the pictures. Okay, here we see something that could be the remnants of an old railroad tie, I think. 
Possibly. There's some uh, concrete stuff here. Okay. It looks like we have a cable. Hmm. These uh, things here look interesting, but don't look like they're part of any train apparatus. It looks like something to do with an automobile. Yes. This uh, piece of wood looks more interesting. Uh, had some uh, stuff, could be something that could have supported uh, the power lines. These are just tree parts. So, if they right away went this way, clearly it had to bridge this little gap here over to that other side. So let's go down there. With all the wayside equipment you can see along the right-of-way, it's kind of hard to believe that there's nothing left as evidence except for a few scraps. Maybe I need to do more exploring. Past the Eastport Tunnel exit, the Sacramento Northern Line started its descent towards the Contra Costa County cities of Moraga, Walnut Creek, and Concord. Eventually, the line made it all the way to its namesake city of Sacramento and beyond. As with most of this 60-year-old abandoned right-of-way, evidence of its existence is now hard to find. Fortunately, I have found many old photos of the line making its way over long-gone trestles and rights-of-way, as is shown here through the canyon region. 